Hey everyone, did you buy an Elgato's capture card so you can start streaming back in 2020? I did. Um, so here's what happened with mine. I was... Mm, hey guys, did you start streaming in 2020 and you went out and got yourself an Elgato capture card? But you had one issue and that's because and that was you couldn't capture game chat in your streaming software when it was going, on, going along through your Elgato capture card? That's probably because you need a chat link. Unfortunately, this is this is almost a required thing when playing certain online FPS shooters. One of them being Apex Legends. Apex Legends does not give you the ability to play your audio from your chat, your game chat, through the speakers and through your headset, so you can't pick it up through your Streamlabs or your OBS while doing that. You will need a chat link, unfortunately. Now, one of the issues I had is I used a standard Xbox controller. The chat link worked perfectly fine. I had to change a couple of settings in my actual OB in my, in my actual Elgato uh, software, but the chat link worked perfectly fine with my wireless controller. I upgraded to a new controller, but it was wired. The Razor Wolverine Tournament Edition. It was wired. What that did was it created a ground loop. What a ground loop is um, is essentially anything that was plugged into the wall, plus my Xbox being plugged in, plus my controller being plugged into my Xbox, plus my caps card being also plugged into the computer. Everything was connected through power. So what ended up happening is it created this really harsh buzzing sound. Sometimes this will also happen through TVs or anything like that has a, a constant power loop. Is what it's called a ground loop. You'll need a ground loop isolator to get rid of that. So if you were to plug an auxiliary cable into like a TV from your PC and then have a monitor going as well, you'll probably get an annoying buzzing sound coming out of it and this will eliminate it. What this is, is it has the ability to eliminate that buzz sound in this unit right here, which then gives you a clean sound coming out of it, okay? I'm gonna show you how to hook all that stuff up right now. Mind you, like I said, if you have a wireless controller, you will not you need one of these to play with this. But if you do upgrade to a wired controller, you're gonna wanna get yourself one of these. They're like 13 bucks on Amazon. Totally worth it. I'd buy one just to have it in case. Because if you ever do upgrade and then you end up needing to plug in your controller or say you have to plug this one in because it's dying, you will get that really, really, really annoying buzzing sound that can give you a headache. Anyways, let's move on to hooking all this stuff up. So, you have your Elgato chat link, okay? One end goes into your controller. Your headset goes into the other end. Then normally, this end will go into your capture card. That's where this guy comes in. You're gonna take this end and you're gonna plug it into this guy right here. And then you're gonna plug this guy into your capture card. That will eliminate your buzzing sound if you have an issue with a wired controller. You'll plug this end into your controller. And then you'll plug your headset, which is right here, into this end. Okay, boom. Now you're all connected. Your controller's all connected and everything's wired up. That is awesome. Here's where you have to go though, because it's not gonna work right off the bat. You're gonna have to fix some things in your actual Elgato software. Let's uh, hop on over there, okay? Now we're over here in our Elgato software, okay? I have not got my Xbox turned on, so nothing's gonna show up right now. What you're gonna wanna do is you wanna go over to this little sprocket right here and click on it. There you go, okay? You're gonna be in the capture section, okay? And down here, your Elgato software is gonna come automatically connected to HDMI output, audio output. Sorry, audio input, okay? Your input's gonna be automatically HDMI because you hook your sound card up with HDMI. So it's gonna auto set to that. You need to change it to analog. Unfortunately, for the Elgato chat link to work and get your game chat in there, because let's be honest, everyone loves their hot mics. In order to get your Elgato chat, your Elgato so, uh, chat link to work, you're gonna need to switch over to Elgato, to the audio, eh, bleh. you're gonna need to switch over to the, uh, you're gonna need to switch over to the analog audio, okay? Then after you've switched over to analog audio, you're gonna wanna go over to audio settings and you're gonna wanna blast your gain all the way up to plus 12, okay? So it can pick up everything real nice and smooth, okay? So now that you've done that, that's the only two things you need to change in your actual Elgato software. You just hit okay, mine's already set there, so you just hit okay, I'm gonna hit cancel right there, hit okay and everything's good. Now. The other issue that you're gonna run into, and I ran into this one, I did not know what it was that I was doing, and I, it took me a long time to find it on YouTube to figure out what was going on, is 
you're going to hear your audio, your gameplay, and your audio for chat are might be really, really quiet. I mean really quiet. Like when you go to look, look at your clips, you can barely hear your gameplay going, and you can barely hear chat, your, your teammates talking to you. Barely, right? That is actually not an issue with the Elgato software. That's not has nothing to do with the Elgato software. Believe it or not, that's in your audio settings on your actual console, whether it's PlayStation or Xbox. We're gonna switch back over to our uh, recording screen here. There we go. So the last thing you need to do, unfortunately, is go into your Xbox or go into your PlayStation, go to your audio settings for when it comes down to your headset being listened to for your, the, your, like your chat or your party that you're talking to and your gameplay. That needs to be in the middle. If you're too far to the chat side, right, to, to, to talking to people, you will not hear your gameplay. You will barely hear your chat for some reason. But if you're too far over to the gameplay, you won't hear, like you'll be too loud. So if you put it right in the middle, you'll pick up the right amount of audio from your gameplay and from your party that you're in. Mind you, if you just go, if you're all playing on Xbox and you just go into a party chat, you don't even need an Elgato chat link. You can just do that standardly through your regular headset. It'll pick everything up as long as you have in your Xbox. I don't believe PlayStation has this, but in your Xbox, you have to adjust your output for speakers and headset. If you do not adjust it for speakers and headset, you're, you will, it will not be picked up through your OBS or your Streamlabs, whichever one you use. So that is a very important thing that you do have to change, okay? Thank you. So that's about it for the chat link. Uh, if you have any questions, just post them in the comments down below. I'll gladly answer anything that I've come across. If I did not address it in this video, uh, I apologize for that. But I will definitely address any comments that come up and try to figure out what might be ailing you in, in that issue. There is one other issue that I have heard with the chat link. I have not received. I have not dealt with it myself. But I believe that there is something that is out there. It's a, it's like a dropping or a crackling sound. That this guy right here won't solve that. There's another thing that you have to do. It, it's very rare. I've very, I've heard maybe like two people that I've talked to have ever experienced this, and I've talked to hundreds of people that use the chat link. So as, cross, as far as I'm concerned, it's not something that I would be too concerned about. I think that's more of a a personal basis than it is an actual product base. Okay. Um, if you have any questions, like I said, just put them down in the comments down below. I'll definitely try to answer them. I'm going to be doing a little bit of an Elgato series in a way. Um, you're I'm going to do it on the stream deck on whether or not the Elgato capture cards are worth it or not. Um, and then anything else that I can come across the wave three mic, I'm going to be doing all little, like little tutorials on how to set them up for beginners and like that. I am a budget streamer. Thank you for coming to the channel.